Welcome back to Ozarks Fox AM. We're talking to our friend Ingrid Fair, and she and Chef David have combined efforts to help people who are in need for uh, food right now. And we've got to know what you're up to. Good morning. So, Ingrid, usually morning. you're in studio with us, but you're on Skype right now. I am, and I, I brought a friend. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! The happiness just keeps which, coming. Which baby is that, Ingrid? That is Roger W. <laughs> Roger W. I love how formal their names are. I do too. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, Jeremy's choking. Sorry, I ate okay. an almond. Sorry, tell That's you okay. take over. No, uh, oh my goodness. Ingrid, we have seen this on uh, social media. Uh, we got to know what you're doing. It's a wonderful thing you're doing. Well, the other day when I was in with you guys, I said, give somebody a sandwich. Yes. So I wanted to take that a little more literally, and um, I called my friend. Uh, Chef David uh, Pratianu, who um, runs the Little Danube Cafe, and um, there he is. <laughs> yep, there he is. I asked him if he would just make some meals for me that I could pass out to seniors. It started because our local senior center, I'm here in Ozark, and they closed down just like everything else is closing down. And um, where they can service the people that get meals on wheels and they can service the people that can come pick up meals. They can't service the people that actually used to take a bus and come in for meals right now. Mm -hmm. Right. And that will probably change, but at this moment, that's how it is. And so I said, could you make some meals? And he said, um, I can do better than that. I'm going to volunteer my time. So I donated money for meals. He donated his time, and the first week we did it, we got 60 meals out. We served seniors, veterans, homeless, um, people with cancer that have poor immune systems that shouldn't be out shopping. Mm. And so from there, we taken it. We want to make it grow, and we, we really want people that need food to get food. Uh, you know, I, I don't care why you need it, but if you need it, we want to help you. How often, Ingrid, are you doing this? Like, is this a daily thing, a weekly thing? How often? We're going to try to do it weekly. We're going to try to do um, meals where um, either we deliver once a week or you can also pick up. We're going to do kind of like our own version of a drive through where you drive up my driveway and I hand you a meal mm -hmm. in, a, in a bag and mm -hmm. you're on your way. So we're limiting that social contact. Um, we're just going to uh, – we did it last, this week on Wednesday – and we're going to just try to do it once a week where we're going to deliver at least two meals that will probably serve you more than a day. It looks and like you were so uh, serving uh, soup, is that correct? Um, this week we did chicken stew and we did, now I can't remember the other meal, cabbage soup. Okay. We did cabbage soup. Uh, both were phenomenal. The people that received them absolutely <coughs> And this coming week, we're going to do be be easy for me to say vegetable beef soup and pork loin and rice stew. Oh, Ooh, that sounds that so hearty, doesn't so it? Sound good? Yeah. Yes, it really does. And, and from here, um, Chaz and Matt from B29 Cafe here in Ozark, they said um, we'll join in. So we're going to talk with them over the next couple of days and see how and when they can deliver meals or if they just want to open their shop and have people pick up there, but we're going to put that all together and anyone is willing to join in, we will need volunteers for probably delivering meals. If anyone has food that they could deliver or money they can deliver right. so we can get the hey, food. Ingrid, and all. Ingrid, quickly, I want to know this, Ingrid, if somebody needs food, is it just the Ozark area you're doing and how do they contact you? Um, we have a web we have a Facebook page. It's called Neighbors Feeding Neighbors mm -hmm. in the Ozarks. And um, I think your page is already connected to it. But all they need to go on there and say, we need meals. What we'll do is we'll create an event every week. And then they can sign up for the event. And they'll say, um, I, I need meals delivered. I can pick up meals. And there, there's just one tiny little caveat, which is if you can afford it, if you put five dollars in for a meal break right. a donation it. perfect ingrid thank sense. you so much we love you thank love you. you love you thank you we'll talk soon yes we'll talk to you how it's going okay give your bye. puppies kisses all right now